Why are you doing it? Because God's children are not for sale. New video for you guys. I just want to do a quick rundown on the movie Sound of Freedom which many probably already heard of. It has been talked about all over social media, but become really controversial. And I believe people should be open-minded with their views, but also know that such things discussed in the movie are actual things that take place in the real life. So therefore, this is not something I'm encouraging nor discounting, but want to talk about. And know what your thoughts are on this topic. Hear that? That's the sound of freedom. So, the things that are discussed in the main topic of this movie is human trafficking and of those mainly children. When you read this stuff, this is what we ought to be intolerant towards. Right, and there I don't know if you guys are familiar with the meme from Orrin McIntyre, uh, don't make me tap the sign, and it's just this post that says, it's not that complicated, they just want to diddle kids. And I think we all have a normalcy bias where we would like to think this is just not that common, shadowy, it doesn't really affect our lives, but this is, like you said, it's everywhere. It is something most are taking into very serious thought, and that should very well be. But also we see the other side of things that most don't want to acknowledge, and that is their choice. Tim Ballard and I can't believe, we, we kind of have to pinch ourselves sometimes because it's been a long time in the making, and even longer in the distribution, and now that it's here, it is, fulfilling what we had hoped. People are are having conversations with their own soul and saying, you know what, if this is true, and, and I'm here to tell you it absolutely is, and anybody who tells you that it's not or that it's exaggerated has never been out in the trenches, has never worked these cases, has never put their life on the line like Tim has or the other operators around the world, like prosecutors, victim advocates, survivor, care advocates, all of the people who are in the fight, uh, I think um, deserve mention as well. I'm not here to start an argument, nor bring theories to the conversation. Also, I never supported the idea of Q or QAnon, but I do see people that are tying that with this film from a political view. And you have a lot of people who are in this world of QAnon who say, oh, they don't know what that is, they've never heard of it. They're just asking questions. With somebody like Jim Caviezel, he is openly embracing it. He's openly using its catchphrases and its concepts. He's speaking at QAnon conventions. And this film is being marketed to either specific QAnon believers or to people who believe all of the same tenets as QAnon, but claim they don't know what it is. I don't take sides into the political realm, neither. Like I said, it is good to be open-minded, but I'm also one with faith, so I do use discernment when talking about things that are discussed and events that actually take place. Sound of Freedom is an action thriller starring Jim Caviezel, Academy Award winner Mina Savino, and other Hollywood stars. The film tells the true story of former government agent Tim Ballard. He quit his job to rescue children around the world from human trafficking. Not something that is made up, but giving voice and reason to a matter that might also not be liked by others, and that's fine. Nobody's here to make things worse, but we should, however, shine light on important matters in the world. And The Sound of Freedom does focus on a real issue of sex trafficking, uh, but that theme, it, it's sort of like that kernel of truth that feeds the QAnon conspiracy theory. Uh, tell us how those two things work together. In terms of child trafficking, we know trafficking is real. We know it has real victims. No one is denying that. And of course, there are forces who would not like that just because of that reason. And not because they believe in certain views in politics or have anything to do with whatever goes on in the world. By the way, this movie was made five years ago. I don't know if you guys... Yeah. This movie's old. Now Wh it's Which movie? The Sound, Sound of, of Freedom. Freedom. Yeah. No, it, nobody oh, wanted really? to put out. Go ahead, Lauren. Go ahead. No. Well, it was, it was made by Fox before the Disney acquisition. So then Disney, they, they essentially didn't release it. They didn't want to release it. They, they sold it to this other studio, and the studio actually had to crowdfund to get a theatrical release. So. so this is something that mainly some will have to put up with. I just hope and pray that many can work together instead of being more divided time we really see a story like this done and also you have a lot of people that are giving away free showings to that film so how do you feel about that 
wonderful uh, the studio. It's called the Pay It Forward program. And, uh, you know, people that are down on their luck or whatever, they would love to go to this film, but are like struggling. Um, people have paid it forward for them to watch the movie for free. And, and you, if you love the movie, and you're going to love this one, you're going to go to the movie and you're going to want to tell people, please tell them, 10 people. And they found, you know, no other studio would ever do something like that. They actually gave it away. People that have seen this movie loved it so much, they um, donated money for others to go see it. But this is not just about the physical world, but also the spiritual side. They are fighting for the soul of America, and not just America, but the people, the people of the world. Biden thinks making America great again is bad for our country. Do you believe it? That was in his speech. My God. And it's no more true or real than we think about the events of January 6th. We are in a battle for the soul of America. A battle that by the grace of God and the goodness and gracious and greatness of this nation, we will win. The American dream is dead and to be part of a bigger plan and purpose much bigger than each of us as individuals is huge so that being said be encouraged and be strong in your position because the fight continues on even after life passes on kind of suspicious why didn't disney want to release this movie was it not in line with their their yeah. branding and by the way isn't disney a kids channel isn't it like yeah. about kids and protecting kids so why wouldn't you want to protect kids worldwide it's not kind of weird perhaps yeah. they don't really want yeah. to and, and isn't it shocking lauren that they're, they're talking this? all this stuff about conspiracy are you trying to act like epstein didn't have an island and flew yeah that we know this for a fact it's that a this fact. happened he was murdered don't believe the hype he was suicide himself that's all bullshit. And now being highlighted as something really grabbing the attention for many. With that being said, have faith, remain vigilant, and God bless you all. And they didn't want the public to see this film. And, and, uh, and there's a lot of reasons why. I mean, 85,000 children last year went missing. They came across our border and no one knows where they're at. That's all sworn testimony. The media couldn't counter it. They couldn't say that, oh, this is fact checked because there was uh, completely tons of evidence there and they didn't want to look at it. So they just chose to ignore the story.